Hi. Um, okay, so the two um, theater artists that I thought made, you know, obviously uh, Professor Bailey said in the in the prompt that all of these people made contributions to theater, but um, the two that I at least was most interested in and wanted to talk about, um, the first is uh, Jacques Coupeau. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I apologize. Um, but yeah, so the way in which I thought he made a impact and a contribution to the theater world um, was in how he, he, he really focused on training the actor. Um, and I thought that was kind of interesting because some of the methods that he talks about using, um, such as, as exploring the text through improvisation, um, mask work, studying ensemble work, um, oh, and drama games, those are all methods that we use today to develop characters or, uh, you know, train, um, you know, fundamentals of acting to, to, you know, undergraduates, you know, that I, I know I learned that in Professor Brown's, uh, fundamentals of acting class. Um, so yeah, I felt that he made a, a interesting contribution to theater through that because those are all methods that we use today. I don't know if he necessarily founded those things, but the fact that he used them all in order to train an actor, um, I thought that was a, definitely a contribution that he made himself um, because we do still use all of these things today in order to train, you know, um, especially, you know, whenever we did Love's Labor's Lost, we used, you know, exploration of the text and different games and exploring how, how those um, little nuances and text translated to the stage. Um, so I thought that was really interesting um, in a contribution that he made. Uh, the second person that I wanted to talk about is Miss Susan Glassbell. Um, I'm a little disappointed in, in this dang living theater book because it really didn't talk about her that much. Um, she had like one little sentence, you know, compared to Jacques Copu, he had like a whole dang paragraph where, <laughs> You know, we went on about the ins and outs of his life, and then she gets one sentence. And, and, and additionally, that one sentence was in underrepresented American female theater artists. Is that a joke? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Um, but, I mean, okay, so it, it, it does talk about her a little bit further in the little theater movement. Um, <laughs> uh, but it talked more about the theater that she founded and, uh, uh, trifles. So, you know, she did get talked about more, but I just wish it would have kind of, um, gone into more detail about her life because it was very fascinating doing research and finding out things about her because she, she's really kind of a cool person just in general, not even just in contributions to theater. Um, she, you know, she was a novelist, a journalist, a playwright. She was also an actress. Um, whenever her, her, the theater that she founded, um, province, the province town players. Yeah. Um, she played Mrs. Hale from trifles. So, you know, she's, <laughs> she's done a lot in the theater world and, and outside of the theater world. Um, yeah, she was, she was raised, up on a farm that was located across from a, a, a Black Hawk ancestral uh, site. So that's kind of interesting. And she was really influenced by um, autobiographies of different Native American leaders, which I th also thought was really interesting. Um, and I don't know if that's what contributed to her, her feminist ideals, but I know there are some Native American tribes that were pretty um, matriarchal, um, were, were female led. So I don't know, maybe that contributed, but I don't know. I don't, yeah, don't take that as fact because I have no idea. Just a thought. Um, but yeah, um, she ended up going to Drake University at, at a time when women were, you know, told that you shouldn't try to pursue a higher education. You know, there's, why would you want to? Um, so she, she did that. She also was extremely successful at Drake University. She <laughs> it says on her week, Wikipedia page that she uh, was on like a debate team and she like out, like <laughs> she, she dominated like all the men and all that makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, so she was extremely intelligent and successful 
in in university and when she graduated university she ended up being a reporter um and she covered topics like the state legislature and also murder cases which were both things that women you know weren't allowed to cover back then and so that was kind of cool um yeah and then she uh oh it did say on the the wikipedia page that she ended up quitting her job as a reporter because she had to cover this um case where a woman murdered her abusive husband uh and she like had to get out of there after that so she she was being faced she she was facing issues not only like you know you know sexism but things like domestic violence back in the day which you know back in the day wasn't really considered domestic violence it was just something that happened um and she was calling into question things like that with trifles and with her other works um you know trifles especially she called into question these ideas of gender roles and and social psychology and um you know when am i protecting myself and when am i crossing the line you know when should i lie and things like that um so yeah, I I was a little disappointed because I wanted to hear more information on her from the book, but that's okay because it forced me to do some research outside of the book and I've ended up finding a lot of cool things about her. Um, so yeah, I think she definitely made a contribution to the theater world, not only through her founding of the Provincetown Players or the Provincetown Playhouse um, and, you know, different feminist ideals and the play Trifles, which is considered one of the greatest American dramas of all time. Um, yeah, so I think both her and Jacques Copu uh, definitely made contributions to theater. Um, and obviously there were several others I could have discussed, but I just felt these two were most interesting to me. So, yeah.